Great start to the summer. Two areas of Utah Lake are now under warnings for harmful algal blooms. And the heat wave as officials watching the lake very closely. Specialist Lad Egan join us from Utah Lake on what we need to know right now. Lad? Where I'm standing right now is still looking good. I'm at Utah Lake State Park in Provo. Water monitoring crews were in this area today and say they don't see signs of an algal bloom. But the harmful algae is growing farther south from here. And boaters are being cautioned that once they hit the open water to watch out because there is a bloom growing not too far from here. What we're seeing right now is elevated levels of harmful algal species and also some toxin production in the very southern part of the lake. The Utah County Health Department has issued warning advisories for Provo Bay and Lincoln Beach. They have detected harmful algae in the water in those locations. The dangerous toxins can make humans and animals sick. Those visiting Provo Bay and Lincoln Beach are being told not to swim, water ski, or do any activity where you could ingest the water. Boating is okay as long as you avoid the areas of algae scum. Fishing is also allowed. Just make sure to clean the fish well and discard the guts. Also, it's important to keep dogs away from the water. Pets are really vulnerable to these harmful algal blooms. They're much more likely to drink water, ingest it. it, takes a smaller amount of toxins to make them sick. In recent years, algal blooms started to develop on Utah Lake around mid-June. We've seen it so bad that we can't even go out on the boat. But this year, it, it hasn't been bad at all. This year, the record runoff kept the water level higher and colder and delayed the harmful algae by a few weeks. The high waters, good boating. And it's still pretty cold. I mean, you come out here end of July, 1st of August some years, and it's like a bathtub. Utah Lake is especially susceptible to algal blooms because it's shallow, warms up quickly, and gets extra nutrient pollution from nearby urban areas. But ultimately, once conditions are ripe for a bloom, it, it doesn't really matter what happened the month before. The Utah Division of Water Quality is closely monitoring Utah Lake. That's because they say these hot temperatures, combined with all the sediment from this year's runoff, could be a perfect storm for bigger blooms this summer. Again, it is just the southern part of the lake where they have the algal blooms. All other areas still okay for swimming and recreation. Reporting in Provo, Lad Egan, KSL 5 News.